Welcome to the Whiskey Vaults. I'm Rex. It's Daniel Week. <sighs> it's, Dan it's Daniel Week. Um, and we're really screwing over Chad. Sorry, dude. Because he has an episode to put out tomorrow, and, and it's, it's currently... It's 5.01. 5.01. It's quitting time. So, I love Brooklodic as a distillery. Right. And this is one of their peated, heavily peated lines. It says Port Charlotte. Called Port Charlotte. What is this? But look at the back. It's from the Brooklodic distillery. The heavily peated Brooklodic Scotch whiskey. Now, why do they call it Port Charlotte? Yeah. Um, that's one way for them to mark their peated line. Okay. Right? Uh, but what they say is, two miles south of Brooklodic. This is long, settle in. Hug no, I'm not reading the whole thing. Okay. Hugging the shore of Loch Indol mm -hmm. lies the village of Port Charlotte and the ruins of the Loch Indol distillery. Yeah. That ran spirit for a hundred years between 1829 and 1929. Following his visit there in 1885, Alfred Bernard wrote, Pete only is used in drying the malt. Fired in open shapers. <laughs> I'm breaking sh He's reading the whole thing. Yeah, I really am. He's reading the whole thing. A testament supported and a few surviving faded photographs showing huge peat stocks waiting to be fed into the kiln fighters. Poor Charlotte. You're welcome. Does it say you're welcome? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a, that was a flourish. I'll yeah, think. that was a flourish. <laughs> so, by the way, I mean, I pour this because it's one of my favorite, and we're still in Daniel week. Uh, and Daniel has been in the best mood since Daniel week began. He's having the best time. Now, Jim McEwen picked the casks that make up the Port Charlotte heavily peated. Mm -hmm. 40 peat per million, 40 ppm. There's some peat. Mm. Scottish barley, of course. What am I getting besides peat and a bit of bit, bit of sweetness? I'm not sure what that's from, but I'm getting peat, peat, peat. I'm just smelling the peat right now. I'm like in one and a half note territory here. I don't know, man. The smell. There's something in there that I'm trying to. I haven't even tasted it yet. There's something back there that my brain's trying to latch onto. I have apple sweetness and peat, and that's all I'm getting for the moment. For the moment. Why would you do another bar solo? Oh, I love that bar solo. Barcelonista. Barcelonista. Because Barcelonista. Because I, I pronounced his name correctly. What? Serious question here. Oh. Is sorry. whiskey really distilled beer? Sort of. I know you usually comment on long comments, so here it goes. He does. I do. He comments on long comments. You figured out my weak link. You want, <laughs> you want Daniel to read your comment? Make a f***ing half page. No, that's not true. Please don't do that, because then I have to read all of them. But you'd be, you'd be comment on the long comment. No, no, no. I put those because there's always a question somewhere buried in the damn paragraph that Rex I actually want to talk will about. will be bored to death mm -hmm. from your answer to this question, but he will get a second chance to pronounce my username, Barcelonista. Nailed it. Which was a complete failure the first time, even though Daniel got it right. I got it right what? first. What? I got it right Nailed first. It. I got you a chair. Uh, I got you a chair. Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, I ain't done yet. You copy and paste a long comment. You <laughs> sit there and you f***ing wait. I'm <laughs> reading this <laughs> Deal with it. You made your bed, now you lie in it. Also, what is the ETA on those engraved glasses? Ah, yeah, still trying to figure out the legal... Licensing. Thing. Licensing. Yeah. It's and a licensing question. Th we're just waiting on one thing, and as soon as I have the answer to that question, the website goes up, we start selling the stuff. Yeah. Uh, I want to buy one or two. Rex, call me Kevin, it's simpler. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> All right, so is this a long thing? You brought me a chair? Yeah. Good. Oh, oh I, knew, I figured out what this reminds me of. Oh, that's... At, I at, wasn't certain that you had put a chair back here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moment of terror. It's like, oh my you god, look. Did he really? No, I didn't look. <laughs> you just said you did. I need to remember that. <laughs> Rex didn't look. Like, I was, in, I was at the point of no return, and I thought, how... oh, shit, did he really put a chair? <laughs> This is, uh, see, this is proof of how much trustworthy I am as an individual. <laughs> I told Rex there's a chair and he didn't even bother to look. Right. Okay, so, um, this is Epicure's bacon wrapped Ooh. fig cheese thing. All right. That's what this is in the nose. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, so there's a restaurant that we'll the eat at. Sweetness. And they took, is it a fig? Fig. It's a fig with bacon, and then there's inside the fig a piece of cheese, cheese something or other. So, um, 
Anyway, okay, so beer, whiskey. Okay, yes and no. So up to a certain point, the process of whiskey and beer is from the outside identical. Um, if you're just looking at what's happening. <laughs> this is why I gotta shoot the whiskey uh, advent calendar by myself. <laughs> I'm, still, All right. I'm still getting some of that whiskey. Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. Um, beer, you, you boil the, you know, get the mash, and then you ferment it, and then you... Uh, at the fermentation, by the time you get done with the fermentation, bam, there's a line in the sand. Now the first fermentation, at that point, that's where beer and whiskey split ways. Beer goes to a second level uh, to pasteurize and be reheated and do all these other beer processes. And whiskey just goes from that first fermentation straight into this, to the still. Now, another thing that's completely different is that beer can be heavily affected by the fermentation process and it can ruin or make anything. Whiskey, the fermentation process, it's a little more forgiving. So that's where they part ways. But from the outside, yes, the first three steps, basically the same. And that's why in Scotland, oh, you poured the wrong burgundy, good choice. That's why in Scotland, uh, they will call the fermented uh, wash a beer. Done? Yeah. Kevin? Actually, it's American, though. We'll call it a beer. They'll call it a wash in Scotland. Uh, Suts82. Hi, I was bought a bottle of Highland Park 12 earlier huh? this year by a friend who loves whiskey, and he encouraged me to watch your videos. Yeah, that's yeah. well done, friend. Yes, it's a good friend. Yeah. By the way, if you're one of those friends, share the videos with people who may be interested in whiskey. Yeah, and point them to the Whiskey Biscuits channel. Specifically, you can share the top 10 whiskeys for beginners that we'll link up here. That's a good entry point. And uh, yeah, second episode of Whiskey Biscuits is up. We'll put that up there somewhere. I love them. They are so fun and informative. I have purchased some Monkey Shoulder and Buffalo Trace, and I find that I can't get past the alcohol taste and smell oh, okay. of any of the three. Do you have any t any tips on training the nose and palate? No. I do, because you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so. It's basically to get past the alcohol burn, it's going to be a, a bit of practice, just acclimating as you're getting used to it. Water but nice. feel free, why would you steal my thunder? That's I know nice. so few things. There's so little information I have to away. offer. It's that was you. fully, like 50% of my knowledge. <laughs> All right, go ahead, tell your story. Okay, so, water and ice. <laughs> What's that like a married couple? Where it's like, it's like, you interrupt the story. You always interrupt my stories. That was the punchline. Why would you tell the punchline? I was building up to the punchline, and you just told the punchline. I might as well have not told the story at all. You tell the story. <laughs> this is getting weird. It's so painfully true. I need a hug. No, not for me. <laughs> There is no shortcut to overcoming alcohol other than reducing alcohol. Yeah. And, 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 well, and there is no shame in that. And here's the thing. There's a lot of people that feel like they need to get into whiskey. You really don't. <laughs> you really don't. There's a ton of people that watch your you channel. You have one life to live, my friend. There's a ton of people that watch your channel. They don't drink whiskey. They don't drink at all. Let's they just say realistically, you only have room for a certain amount of vices in your life. Right. Before you die young. Yeah. yeah, my favorite was when Rex was like, I'm not going to drink alcohol for a while. Well, you know, except for the videos we have to shoot. <laughs> Bullshit! That's not what happened at all! I was like, wait a minute, I need to make sure this isn't becoming a problem. So I said, four days. Four days, we're not going to do four. anything. This was my ball busting week. It, it really is was. Daniel it's week. It's Daniel week. It really is. <laughs> I don't like Daniel week. <laughs> this is a bad week. Yeah. Right. Ooh, but that implies there's a Rex week. Nope. No. In the, in the comments, who wants a Rex week? No. <laughs> Hashtag Rex week. Let's make it happen. <laughs> and send us your complicated whiskeys. Uh, oh, yes. yes. A list. Complicated whiskeys. We'll do this for a couple of weeks. They're the best whiskeys for e advanced mm. uh, whiskey drinkers. That's a better way to say it. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for friends. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may you, you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.